What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. We gotta have a very important conversation. Shouts out to my boy Lionheart on Twitch. I was actually hanging out in his Twitch channel. Uh, fellow pay to win. We were, well, free to play, fellow free to play, because, you know, I'm free to play too. But we were, we were talking about the uh, the weapon banners and uh, how, it, <laughs> how they're kind of a trap. So when, you, when we look at the banner... The kicker is this, and I'm quoting Lionheart on this one. Uh, he was talking about how basically when you guys look at the actual summon banner, there is essentially a price tag on this, right? So if you summon a certain amount of heroes, you're basically guaranteed to get the banner hero, right? So how that works essentially is if you do 90 summons, it's a 50% chance to get child or some other five star. Once you get to 180 summons, you're guaranteed to get child. Fast forward quite a few summons and a few extra dollars. Eventually, you will see six child within a certain amount of money. So it, basically, they're saying there's a price tag. Worst case scenario is $2,500. Best case scenario, if you get lucky, it's under 1000 But somewhere in between, on average, you'll fall somewhere in the middle if you want to max out this hero. However, when we get onto the weapon banner, this is where it's basically pure gambling. And why it's pure gambling is the fact that there is no pity. Well, you know, in a sense. Yes, there's a pity for the weapons. Like if you summon 80, you'll get a five-star weapon. But there's no guarantee that you're going to get one or the other. Now, I found this out personally because I was trying to get myself a memory of dust, but it didn't happen. Instead, I pulled like a million harps, but didn't get a single memory of dust. So big thing here, guys, is when this new banner comes up, and it's going to come up, is I would say like... If you guys are going to summon for Zhongli, which I know a lot of you guys are, and I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions about the weapon banner and whether or not it's going to be worth it. And the, the, the short answer is it could be because it literally is true, true, true gambling to where the reality of it is, is you can spend $10,000 and not get the weapon that you want. <laughs> Because there's no official pity on either one of the weapons, meaning that you could try to summon for the Enforge or you can try to summon for the Vortex Vanquisher. But at the end of the day, you're still relying on luck. And the kicker is, is on these weapon banners, you're not even really guaranteed to get the main weapons. You could pull something else. Like, for instance, when I was trying to summon for the Memory of Dust, instead of Memory of Dust, what did I get? A damn Lost Prayer. All right. So this is... A kicker and it's kind of tricky because of the fact that it's an 80 summon pity but even though it's less summons it's still a trap a super negative trap not like a child trap child trap banner is good banner because child's dope but this is a situation where you have some potentially awesome weapons but if you guys are trying to go for refinements and you're not willing to pay a lot of money unless you get lucky of course this could end badly all right so my advice here is, you know, from a, a free-to-play player, wink, wink, both eyes, yes. Uh, my advice here is go for the character first, okay? And then, you know, if you got some extras left over, I would try to summon for these, you know, weapons periodically hope you get lucky but this is not a situation where you you are going to expect to get the one that you want immediately because like i said there's no guarantee with these weapon banners and these are probably the biggest money sink in this game um, and this is truly uh, I think where they get you and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they made some adjustments to the system because the way that it's set up I think there are going to be a lot of cases where a lot of people summon a lot of one of these weapons and they're going to get pissed off uh, because right now the way that this is set up, it is not the most um, user friendly way to summon uh, if you guys are going to be putting resources into this game. So I just wanted to throw that out there, guys, real quick, um, just because like it's a big deal. And as we were talking about it all on my buddy's stream, like this was... Yeah, this is something that I think really needed to be addressed just in case that you guys, you know, you guys have been saving your summons, your intertwined fates, or you guys have been saving primos, and let's say you guys pull Zhongli early, and your first inclination is to like, oh, I'm going to go summon on the weapon banner now. Uh, that may or may not be the best move if you intend to pull multiple. I would say try to get one if you can, one of each if you could, uh, but at that point... You know, if you're getting to the point where you've summoned like 16 of one of the weapons and like haven't even gotten the other one yet, it might be time to pull the plug. <laughs> Unless you're trying to go like 5k deep. But, you know, if, if that's your prerogative, that's on you. But again, for my free to play or, uh, you know, low, low budget spenders, like if you guys are doing 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month, uh, so on and so forth, and you guys are looking at the best place to put your money, I would definitely say in the character banners for sure. Um, and then whatever you have left over, then go to the weapon and or save for the next batch of heroes. 
So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Just a quick one, just a public service announcement. Um, and uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below, and I'll be happy to assist. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.